This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. What I'm looking at today is Josh Lobo's I Trapped the Devil, and there are two ways to view this movie. One way is to take it on its merits, which is an interesting story revolving around a man who around a Christmas holiday traps someone in his basement who he believes is the devil, literally Satan. His brother and his sister-in-law come for an unexpected visit and they have to deal with the repercussions of this man's actions. Is he crazy or is the man in his basement trapped behind a door who you never see the entire movie truly the devil? It posits an interesting dilemma. Should the brother who has neglected his sibling believe him when he asks him to have faith in him, to trust him, that the man he has in his basement is Satan. This is an interesting dilemma, and the movie goes about answering that question very methodically and with a sense of tension, and it makes you question the brother. Is he crazy? Is he not crazy? And even question his his sibling, why is he letting him do this? Why does he have faith, at least for a while, that what his brother is doing is the right course of action? So if you judge I Trapped a Devil on a basis of it being a pretty effective slow burn thriller, it's a pretty good movie. I would fail to call it necessarily even a horror movie because there's no real horror elements to it. And this, besides the idea of a person being trapped in a basement behind a door who is potentially the devil, literally Satan, there's that aspect of it. But it plays more like a slow burn thriller than a horror movie per se. Now here's the other way to look at this movie. And this is very problematic, at least for me, because I don't like to trash what other people do especially when those people are well-intentioned or seem to be well-intentioned and, and there's no intent for them to do any sort of harm. The problem is I Trapped the Devil is essentially a copy of Season 2, Episode 5 of The Twilight Zone titled The Howling Man. And I'm not being hyperbolic here. It is literally a copy of that episode. The amount of people involved change, the location changes, the subject matter, and even the way one of the characters, one of the brothers I should say, responds to the situation is exactly the same. This feels very much like copyright infringement to me. And I don't, I don't use that lightly, but this is not, this is really odd. And it plays exactly the same as The Howling Man. There's some surface differences between that and I Trapped the Devil, but it's exactly the same in the ways that count. The motivation of the main character and how he responds to the situation. It's really strange to me. And, I, and as I said, I don't like to cast aspersions on people who have the wherewithal to create things, especially when I'm not doing it myself in that fashion. It makes, it comes off to me even, as somewhat unfair. But at the same time, this does not feel like an original work. And that's really problematic for me. And I get that the Twilight Zone series can be very inspirational. And it's been, I think it's, and I think it has something like five seasons or so. So it's covered a lot of territory. And it's hard to make something that doesn't in some ways touch on what the Twilight Zone has done. From The Sixth Sense to Us and Get Out and tons of movies in between, The Twilight Zone has touched on topics that those movies have covered, but they somehow remain original works. I Trapped the Devil does not feel very original. And it feels to me very much like plagiarism, to be frank. And that bothers me a little bit. 
because as I said, it's not verbatim the same story as, no, no, that's not actually true. It is the same story as the Howling Man episode of The Twilight Zone, but with some changes, some of which I've already mentioned. Again, the setting, the holiday, minor details are changed, but the essence, the heart of I Trapped the Devil is exactly the same. And it's problematic to watch for me. It's not bad. It's well acted. It's atmospheric. There's tension. But it's just not original. And it really bugs me. And someone else may have a different perspective on this. And if you do, I'd love to hear from you. Please let me know. But looking at this, it feels like plagiarism. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. And anyone out there, if you've seen The Howling Man, if you've seen I Trapped a Devil, please chime in. Let me know what you think. But this disturbs me a little bit, to be totally honest. I've seen works that are like other works. That's not uncommon. Someone said there's nothing new under the sun. I get that. But at the same time, that's not the same thing as copying. Let me know what you think. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Peace.